In order to understand uh, all of the uh, tubes connected to the carburetors, you've got to look at this emission control diagram, at least on my California bike. And uh, it's kind of complicated, but um, we'll take a look at a couple of features here. Um, both of the carburetors have two connections to the intake manifold after the uh, fuel extra air mixture comes out of the carburetor. And uh, here they are. One of them is a vacuum line and one of them is running uh, vapors from the evaporative uh, canister into the manifold. On the other side there's also two lines. One is a vacuum line. Uh, this vacuum line over here is controlling the um, purge valve. This is the purge valve. The other vacuum line is controlling the uh, uh, evaporative uh, system air valve and uh, you get uh, crud that uh, that they want to run into the intake and burn uh, that comes from the air valve and you get crud that they want to come from the canister that comes from the purge valve but they're both controlled by these vacuum lines so on each manifold you're going to see two lines a large one and a small one and uh, one is the output either from the air valve or the purge valve and the other is going to be a vacuum control line because both of these valves, the purge valve and the air valve, uh, open up when there's engine vacuum. When the engine is running, uh, the vacuum from the intake manifold causes them to open. And uh, so there's vacuum lines that control both of them and there's output lines from both of them and each of the uh, valves also has a third line. Uh, one of them is an air vent that lets air into the system for the air valve and the other is one that lets gas fumes come from the canister into the purge valve and through the purge valve into the manifold. Now there's also something else. Each of the, the apparently these are the float bowls that they're trying to show here. Each of the float bowls has a line coming to it and it goes to a T and it comes over here and it goes to the air valve and as far as I can tell this is letting atmospheric air uh, uh, go into the um, uh, float chambers and um, possibly uh, also some uh, gas fumes uh, in there as well. I can't really quite tell how it works, but we know when we look at the carburetor we're going to find three tubes on each carburetor. Uh, a vacuum line uh, goes to the uh, purge valve, a vacuum line that goes to the air valve, uh, output lines from the air valve and the uh, purge valve, and then these lines that go from the air valve to what looks like the float bowls of the carburetors. So that should explain most of the weird tubes that we find attached to the carburetor. Uh, there's some other things that are attached to the carburetor as well. Um, there's a vacuum line that controls the um, the um, petcock or the auto fuel shutoff. Uh, and it may be combined with uh, one of these vacuum lines. I don't know yet. Uh, there's uh, fuel lines from the uh, petcock to both of the carburetors to supply fuel to them. And uh, there's uh, things that look like lines, but they're really cables uh, for the fuel enrichment valves. And somewhere in there, there's little vacuum connections that we're going to disconnect and um, connect up to our uh, manifold pressure gauges so we can um, balance the carburetors and which of these it actually is I don't know but I suspect that it's we're actually disconnecting these vacuum lines that go to the um, purge valve and the uh, 
the air valve, but I, I don't know that for sure yet. So here uh, is the uh, tube uh, diagram for the California model. And uh, here is the diagram for the 49 state model. And the difference is that uh, the air valve is not uh, connected here and uh, blowing crap into the intake manifold. Otherwise, this is all exactly the same as California. The difference being this tube from the air valve coming in here. And of course the vacuum valves that control everything. Uh, I still don't understand the sub air cleaner two carburetor tubes except it comes down here to this little filter box and I don't understand that yet. Okay well we're preparing to uh, do two things here. Change the air filter and balance the carburetors and uh, in order to do that we sort of have to understand uh, the anatomy of all of the tubing and controls on these carburetors some of which is buried by this uh, air box uh, which is really a, an air box and oil separator combined and the mount for the air filter. So let's just take a look at the basic uh, basic stuff. We already looked at this other side once but we'll do it again to get it all all in one video. So on the side of the carburetor this is the idle adjustment cable and when you turn the knob inside here this thing will adjust. This is a cable that looks like a tube but it's a cable. Uh, this is the cable for the enrichment, mixture enrichment. When you pull that cable it pulls through here and pulls out a needle, an enrichment needle. This is Not what I thought it was. These are the fuel lines going into the carburetor. This is the auto fuel valve or vacuum operated petcock, whichever you prefer. So these are the fuel lines going to the carburetor. This is the fuel line from the fuel pump and the fuel tank. This is the vacuum line that controls a little diaphragm that opens and shuts this valve. And you go down and you see this vacuum line here goes down to the intake manifold but it also tees off and goes over here to this number 10 uh, line which is the control for the purge valve for the canister. So this vacuum line controls that diaphragm which opens this valve and let me go around. I remember the uh, the purge valve goes to one of the intake manifolds, which you can't really see in here, on uh, one of the cylinders. And the output from the air control valve goes to the intake manifold on another cylinder, probably back there. And there's a vacuum control line which may be broken off of this uh, thing. No, let's see. There it is. There's a vacuum control line which controls this air control valve, purge valve, air control valve, a uh, little vacuum line that goes over here and it I think it tees up with uh, another vacuum line goes to the intake manifold on the other carburetor. Here's the purge canister. Vapors come out of the gas cap, go down into the canister, come back out of that canister. You can wiggle this 
line just a little bit. See that it comes up here to the purge valve, which is controlled by that vacuum line we were looking at. And the purge valve goes over here to the intake. And it is teed up with, is it? I don't know. We'll see. We have to figure that out. These are coolant lines, this one in here, and from these are coolant lines, this one in here, and from the radiator are coolant lines. This is the uh, positive crankcase ventilation. So the uh, the blow by from the top of the rear cylinder comes into this um, air box and air separator uh, through this tube. So we're going to pull this air box off to get a better look at this. And so we'll be disconnecting uh, this positive crankcase ventilation tube, a blow-by tube. Uh, we'll just take this loose so it can flop around. And uh, we'll undo the two screws that you can't hardly see here. That there's uh, bands on the next to the carburetor. I can see it on the other side. I'll show you. Okay, here you can plainly see the band around the uh, the neck of the mouth of the carburetor um, holding the uh, the air box or the air cleaner box onto the top of the carburetor. So there's one on the other side that's obscured by a fuel line. 